Acts chapter 19. And it happened, while Apollos was at Corinth, that Paul, having passed through the upper regions, came to Ephesus, and finding some disciples, he said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? So they said to him, We have not so much as heard whether there is a Holy Spirit. And he said to them, Into what then were you baptized? So they said, Into John's baptism. Then Paul said, John indeed baptized with a baptism of repentance, saying to the people that they should believe on him who would come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke with tongues and prophesied. Hello, my name is John Cordial and uh, welcome to the Cordial Apocalypse, where the Apocalypse means nothing more than the Revelation. Today I'm going to be talking about the Holy Spirit and uh, it is a very important topic because without the Holy Spirit you cannot be an overcomer. But before that, they needed, the disciples needed to be baptized. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 onwards, All authority has been given to him, yes? And go and baptize. Go therefore and baptize. I like what uh, a preacher says. Uh, he has a, this on a golden black coat. And next to that he wants to put where. <laughs> That's uh, something that we all go through. Hallelujah. But uh, first thing is to go. And then you must baptize, yes, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, yes. That's important because John baptized only for repentance. That means complete U-turn of where they're headed and where they're going, yes, to Jesus Christ. He came to prepare a way. What did Jesus do? He came and connected you and me with God, yes, the ministry of reconciliation. Yeah, hallelujah. And this can be done only through the Spirit because God is through the Spirit. And therefore, you need the Holy Spirit, the baptism of the Holy Spirit for that to happen, for you to be an overcomer. And that is why you must be baptized, yes. Jesus came to pay the way, to make the way. He said on the cross, it is finished. And when he goes... He said he will send the Holy Spirit and in the book of Acts we read that the Holy Spirit came upon those who believe, yes? And he continues to do so, yes? Hallelujah! Now, have you been baptized with the Holy Spirit? Without the Holy Spirit you cannot know what leads you to Jesus, yes? And without Jesus, he said, I am the way, the truth and the life, no one comes to the Father except through me, yes? You cannot know the Father. So you must have all three. That is the worship, the Word, and the Spirit, yes? And the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, yes? But you must be baptized in the Holy Spirit. And what did they do? They spoke in other tongues and they prophesied. Meaning, they were able to do what God was able to do, which was to tell the end from the beginning, yes? That is what a prophecy is. To tell the plans of God. Hallelujah. So... That can be done only with the Spirit of the Living God. Hallelujah. In the book of Zechariah, it says in chapter 4, Not by might, not by, not by power, but by my Spirit. Hallelujah. Now, the Holy Spirit builds the church, builds you and me, and does all the work that Christ would have done had He been on earth. But He is not on earth. He is seated where? With, with our Father. And we are seated with Him. Yes? But the Holy Spirit in the, is in us, yes? Hallelujah. I may not be able to talk as much as I used to be able to, and some consider that a blessing. Well, my sister thought uh, it's a blessing that I'm not able to sing, yes? Hallelujah. But hallelujah, it doesn't matter, yes? But what matters is that we are filled with the Spirit. Hallelujah. And the Spirit is unique, like a thumbprint. Yes, how he does things in me 
is very different from how he does things in you. And how does the scripture say that the Holy Spirit comes upon you? By the laying on of hands. In the book of Acts, earlier towards 1 and 2, we read that the Holy Spirit came to the earth as tongues of fire. So it doesn't matter how, what matters is that you are baptized in the Holy Spirit. For that is what Jesus came for and that is what you need, the Holy Spirit. That is who you need. Hallelujah. For he is a person. Without him, you cannot overcome. Without him, Christ in you cannot be shown to others. So be baptized. Hallelujah.